Don Cookman has a new head football coach. He goes by the name of Coach Raymond Woody. Uh, he, uh, by the time you see this, you may have already seen his introductory press conference. They've announced it. They've signed a contract. It's all done. We're going to try to get to know Coach Raymond Woody. And the good and the bad, there's some bad. Let's talk about it after the bumper. Stay tuned. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? <clears throat> Excuse me, everybody. My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lighty Jr. YouTube, Facebook, wherever you get your podcasts. Got my Howard gear on, the Jordan brand Howard gear. They had some of this out where I live, so this was pretty cool. I was I was excited about getting this. You might see this in a couple of more videos coming up, so shout out to Howard. Shout out to Coach Larry Scott, the head coach of the football team, and their partnership with Jordan Brand, but we're not here today to talk about Howard. We're here today to talk about Coach Raymond Woody. Coach Raymond Woody, it's official. He will be the next head coach of Bethune-Cookman. This comes after all the whatever took place with Ed Reed, uh, and, and Raymond Woody is going to be the guy. He's an alum of the school. He is a guy that has been in coaching for a long time. He has been closely associated with Willie Taggart, a Willie Taggart who was the WKU South Florida Oregon and Florida State former head coach Raymond Woody has been with Willie through all of those stops, uh, the, all of those places, Western, USF, Oregon, and Florida State, and FAU. I forgot uh, Florida Atlantic is the most recent stop. Raymond Woody was right there with them, and Raymond Woody, uh, specifically, he was a position coach at some of the places, and then he also was an associate head coach. But the biggest thing that I think uh, really matters is, as far as him being the net new head coach of Bethune Cookman is the fact that he was the recruiting coordinator for Willie Taggart, all of the, all of those places. Now, now some of you may have seen the video put out there by off script. Shout out to my boy off script, man, Scotty, you know, he's one of the most entertaining dudes to do this stuff. And Scotty had a clip. Now I don't know where Scotty found this clip at. I, I guess I could go watch this thing and figure it out again, but a clip of a player who played for Willie Taggart, I don't remember what school it was, but Raymond Woody was his position coach. And in that clip that Scotty played, and it was rough, he said that the, the young man who was a player, who, who actually was a significant contributor uh, to the team, said that he knew more football than Coach Woody. Mm, that's nasty work. That's not good. It's not what you want to hear when someone's your new head coach. He said that he knew more football, that he had to hold team meetings, because they weren't getting taught anything during practice and during their meetings with the coach. And it just, it, honestly, it was bad. I mean, it was just to hear that. Whether it's true or not, I mean, you can debate that all along. But the fact that he was willing to go on record, show his face and his name, and say that, it's not And he said, call my teammates. Call them up. I would hold the meetings in my house because we would have to figure things out because we didn't have a coach, essentially. Then he's talked about complaining about it to Coach Taggart, and that's how him and Coach Taggart fell out. Now, you could say, oh, he's vile, whatever. You got to give that some credence. I'm not saying put all your eggs in that basket, but you do have to take that into consideration when someone has been named a new head coach somewhere. So that there's that. I just had to put that out there because we're going to weigh both things. But what I do also want to highlight is that Coach Woody has been able to accomplish some things in his coaching career. Now, we got to take what the former player had to say into account, but we also have to take into account some of the career achievements of Coach Woody, and that's what I'm going to look at today. Now, this comes from the FAU website. Uh, this was up about Coach Raymond Woody, about some of the cool things that he's been able to do. So let's look at uh, his playing career. It says he's lettered as an outside linebacker and strong safety at Bethune-Cookman from 92 to 95. Told you guys he was an alum. Earned a GTA Academic All-American honors and was a 1AA All-American and first team All-MEAC. <laughs> it's almost funny because Bethune was a MEAC school for a very long time. All-MEAC performer his final two years uh, as a junior. He broke the program's single season record with 14 and a half sack. Raymond Woody wasn't no slouch. He was he was a baller now. And following his collegiate career, Woody spent one season in the CFL. Now, here's the things that I'm most excited about. Now, 
obviously coaching is the number one thing for a head football coach, but you could be the greatest coach in the world if you don't have the players and it doesn't matter. Now, Bethune has already both athletic director Reggie Theus and interim president Dr. Drake have said that they're going to you know, basically flood the athletics department with millions of dollars. They said $3 million to go into getting a locker room, to go into getting proper things, showers, all of that proper stuff, you know, washers, dryers to wash and dry jerseys because and get the proper equipment. You know, they were sharing helmets, all of that stuff. So he said $3 million there. And then I heard another number about $10 million going into athletics as well. So they're going to flood athletics. And Reggie Thea said, hold it to him to have the locker rooms and all that stuff done before the start of the season. He said, before August, we should have all that stuff and hold me to it. And damn it, we're going to hold him to it. But uh, what I also want to show is some of the accolades of Raymond Woody. He is someone, albeit it was high school, he coached. In the South, uh, the South Florida high school, he was a head coach in South Florida for 13 years. That's noteworthy because not only being a head coach, but being a recruiting coordinator at FAU, at South Florida, at Florida State, he's gotten to know, and even at Oregon or Western Kentucky, he's gotten to know these coaches in that area. That matters. And also his recruiting prowess. He's not just someone that I think has these connections. He's someone who has been acknowledged and recognized for his connections as far as being a recruiter. It says recruiting accolades. They have a whole post for it. It says Woody boasts an impressive resume on the recruiting trail and impacted Florida State immediately as he was ranked the number two recruiter in the ACC by 247 Sports in 2018, despite having less than two months to recruit for the Seminoles after he was hired. That sounds pretty good if you do, if I do say so myself. Would he also earned AAC top recruiter recognitions by arrivals in 2014 and was named the Sun Belt's Recruiter of the Year by Scout slash Fox Sports in 2012? Now, granted, you could say, oh, some of this is dated. Uh, but those connections to a lot of those places, a lot of those schools, those relationships are probably still there. Because he was at Florida Atlantic. He wasn't like at no, no shuck and jive school. He, he, he's he been doing this stuff for a while. So that is noteworthy. We can't just pretend like that's not worth anything. That's worth something. I'm not saying it's worth that, worth everything, but it's worth something. He was also ranked the number one recruiter in the Pac-12 and number 13 nationally by 247 during the 2017 season. He helped Coach Taggart sign the AAC's top class in 2014 and 15, directly recruiting nine of South Florida's 10 all-conference selections in 2016 and the highest-ranked class in the Sun Belt both in 2010 and 2011. Recruiting is the lifeblood of college football. If Coach Woody can come in. Now, he's got to be able to coach. <laughs> he's got to be able to coach. And what that player said ain't a good start. But the fact that Coach Woody has these connections, the fact that Coach Woody can get into and, and knows how to speak to these young men, he clearly knows how to speak. And the fact that he is an alum of Bethune-Cookman, he can sell Bethune-Cookman from a personal level. He can come in and say, yo, we're not perfect. We have a lot to work on. But I made it from Bethune-Cookman, and I became a very successful football player. You can also do the same. I think that is a great pitch. Now, obviously, we have to see the rest of the staff because they have to be able to coach. <laughs> they have to be able to coach. But getting good players is half the battle. And Bethune-Cookman, being in Daytona Beach, being in Florida, and the, high, the Florida high school connections that Raymond Woody already has by all his years being on Willie Taggart's staff, is going to help him tremendously. He knows the landscape. He knows the people. He knows the programs. Once again, he still has to go out there. Bethune has to continue to elevate as a university, and he has to go out there and prove that he's able to coach. But one thing that I, I think Raymond Woody will have some success with is getting some good players on campus at Bethune. Eh, whether you want to compare him to Ed Reed or not, that's not for me to do because Ed Reed is gone. And I know some people say, well, Ed Reed would have got players in Florida. Yeah, but Ed Reed is no longer there. Ed Reed is doing his own thing. Raymond Woody is the head coach at Bethune Cookman. Congratulations, Coach Woody. Interested to see what you'll be able to do. And if you can prove that player wrong, I guess we'll have to wait and see. My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. This is the Victory Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lighty Jr. YouTube, Facebook, and wherever you get your podcast. Be sure, be sure, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the at name is right there, at JLighty7. 
at jlight 7 Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for tuning in. Hit that thumbs up button on your way out. And I will see you next time.